So Rob, new signing this week, Ollie Atkins, uh, a person that's come highly recommended by a man he's probably replacing. Yeah, that's right. And it's interesting, you know, when Dean first mentioned to us that uh, he may be looking to leave, um, he asked who we were potentially looking at, and I mentioned a few names who were available. Dean actually mentioned uh, Ollie, having played with him at uh, Sydney University uh, in his time back in Australia. Uh, actually, he had already come on our radar, Ollie, through uh, Simon Norris, our analyst here, had seen him play some rubber direct games. Uh, and it suggested we have a look at him. So both myself and Rob Hunter, we had a, we had a detailed look at him over a number of five, six games. Liked what we saw, uh, arranged to have a meeting with him and obviously we've, we've met up and he's done his interviews and his physical testing and, and his medical and we, we like a lot of what we see. So, um, you know, he, he's an interesting player, a little bit bigger than Dean, obviously a fair bit younger, um, but a, a real, you know, workhorse and guy who likes the set piece and actually, you know, we feel he'll be ideally suited for Premiership Rugby and you know, talking to him and watching him play, you can kind of see he's one of those guys who could be a very, very good Premiership Rugby player because there's a lot of development potential there, both physically um, and in his rugby. And because he wants to be involved in the game, you know, they're very easy to work with players who want to be part of a game, want to get their hands on the ball, want to make tackles, want to be involved in the set piece. You know, that, those are the guys who you can develop very quickly because they gain experience very quickly because you know, they're, they're highly involved in games. So for a lot of reasons, it's a good fit for us. Um, it also allows us, you know, with him being really an out and out second row, it probably also allows us to think of Don Armand as potentially a, a backup lock, although Don's playing obviously very, very well for us in the back row at the moment, and probably allows us to look at an out and out back rower to add to the squad, um, which is probably something we'll look to finalise in the next three or four weeks. When you look at the makeup for next year, are you getting excited with, with how the squad is looking now? Yeah, I think we're one or two signings off being really, really, really finalised and really exciting. Um, now, whether those one or two come off, that, that'll be for time to tell. I'm very, very happy with the squad we've got uh, under contract for the next season already. We've actually got a couple more players who will be, will be announcing probably in the next two or three weeks who will kind of fill out the squad for us and we think have got huge potential. Uh, but obviously we're also delighted with the players who, are, who have, have re-signed already and are, are in the process of re-signing. So we, f we feel we're going to be very strong next year. Um, hopefully, it's like anything year on year, you'd hope with the current players we've got gaining more experience and getting a little older because we're still relatively a, a young squad. Uh, with the players we bring in, you know, we're comfortable that we're still an improving group and that's a, a nice position to be in as a group of coaches.